there's a start list for the women's 60 meters. Unfortunately, Asha Phillip of Great Britain uh, suffered a hamstring injury warming up here, so she doesn't go in lane seven. Let's meet them, shall we, on the inside. First of all, will be Maria Perez of Spain, who set an improved personal best this year of 7.20. She's been busy around Europe, took part in the World Indoor Tour meeting in Karlsruhe. Amy Hunt, another of the exciting British talents, 19 years of age, the current British 60 metres champion. 200 metres really is a specialist distance, but more than handy over 60. Majinga Kambunji, the Olympic finalist in 100 and 200 metres, the World Indoor Bronze Medalist from here in Birmingham in 2018. And there is the fastest woman alive, Elaine Thompson here, who very, very rarely races indoors outside of championships. She's only ever run indoors here in Birmingham, where she set her personal best of 6.98 back in 2017. Daryl Needs has been in terrific form as well this winter. She set herself a personal best of 7.15, drawn alongside Thompson Hero. Destiny Smith Barnett also tying her personal best of 7.14 this year. Also competed in a, a, the two World Indoor Tour gold meetings over in New York. And on the outside in lane eight is Molly Scott, who's a sprint hurdler by trade. She's improved her, her PB though to 7.23, pretty impressive for a hurdler. Set that in Ireland last month. But Elaine Thompson here, she's gone sub seven seconds before. She did say yesterday, I'm not quite ready, but I'm here. What can she produce? Over 60 metres. What a treat for the crowd here inside the Utility ah. Arena in Birmingham, watching on the Muller Indoor Grand Prix. I know Jamaica will be watching as well. Thompson here, lane four. No issues with the start. Thompson here with Kambunji on her inside. Smith Barnett in the red going as well. Thompson here is starting to come through now. Took Nita with her. Just outside seven seconds for Elaine Thompson here, but comes through to take the win. And the double double Olympic champion makes her rare indoor appearance here and looking as impressive as ever as she builds up her 2022 season. Yeah, just looking back at that, we can see Elaine there in the centre lane. She didn't get one of the best starts, but she certainly didn't get the worst. She says that her start is the thing that she's come here to work on. And again, it was that last part of the race, probably the last 10, 15 metres where she showed her strength. We know the strength that she has got over 200 metres. And Daryl Nita, it was, in fact, who came up into second place. So we'll have to keep one eye on the clock to see whether uh, she's matched her personal best or got ahead of it. Certainly the 7.09 performance on the, on the clock would suggest that Daryl Nita may indeed be under her 7.15 personal best that she's already set this year. Well, unofficially it came up, it's, as you say, Janet, 7.09. It's what it has down on the uh, infield scoreboard there. You can just see going through. We'll wrap all that up for, for you very shortly. We're in the...